So Taylor, there's recently been an announcement by Kendrick that they're changing the nature of the 11 plus exam for their school. Perhaps you can explain a bit more about that. Yes, this is actually quite a significant change because Kendrick have had their own separate 11 plus exam, which was supplied by GL and was different from the 11 plus exam administered by any other school. And as of the exam that will be taken in autumn of 2014, Kendrick are switching over from GL to CEM, which Buckinghamshire did last year, and the Slough Consortium are also doing this year. But the change over from GL to CEM is not so significant as the fact that not only has Kendrick or announced a switch to CEM, but the fact is that they're actually using the exact same paper that the Slough Consortium schools are using. So it's not, in effect, a separate exam, a separate test. It is, in fact, the same test to be taken on the same day. So a girl who wants to go to Kendrick and is also sitting for the Slough Consortium would only sit one exam, and she would sit it at one of the Slough Grammar Schools. Then what will happen is that whatever her performance was on that day, that will determine her score for the Slough Consortium. But the raw scores from that sitting will be sent to Kendrick for them to produce their final score too. So that each of the, the Slough Consortium and Kendrick are going to create their own scores. Does that mean the scores will be the same because they've got the same raw data? Well, you would intuitively think that the same performance would result in the same final scores. However, it's less simple than that because in order to, if you like, cancel out the advantage or disadvantage the, of age, the 11 plus scores are standardised to take account of the ages of the children who take the exam. Also, the 11 plus score is a reflection of how well this particular child has performed compared to others who took the exam at the same time as they did. In other words, compared to their cohort. So the standardized score depends on not only the raw score, but also the performance of the rest of the cohort. Now, if you consider the situation we have this year with the Slough Consortium and Kendrick, and in fact, I'll mention that uh, in Kendrick's website, they have said that Reading Boys is also perform um, assessing children in the same way, using the same paper as the Slough Consortium. So what I say for Kendrick applies to Reading Boys as well. What happens here is that the Slough Consortium will standardize a child's scores against the Slough Consortium's cohort, which will be considerably larger than the cohort for Kendrick and the cohort for Reading. So, and Kendrick will use the exact same scores, the same raw scores, but standardize those uh, by comparison with the performance of their cohort. So whereas the Slough Consortium may have a cohort for, of perhaps 7,000, Kendrick may have a cohort closer to 2,000. So when they standardize the same raw, raw score, it will result in a different standardized score. So Kendrick are not actually joining in with the Slough Consortium, they're just using the same paper. So that's why there's this difference in the number of pupils in the group. That's right. They are not part of the consortium. That's quite important to understand. Um, they are comparing, if you like, the girls who have entered for Kendrick only with the girls who have entered for Kendrick and not against all the children who've entered for the Slough Consortium schools. OK, so you've explained the technical differences, but what difference does it actually make for the parents and children? It makes a couple of differences. The first is that because it is actually the same paper, then there doesn't need to be separate and different preparation for the Kendrick test as used to be the case before. So that, if you like, is a bonus or a benefit of this change for children and their parents. So if they're preparing thoroughly for a CEM type exam, then they are already preparing fully for the Kendrick exam. 
Now, on the downside, it also means that whereas previously children would take the consortium exam on one day and then take a separate exam for Kendrick on another day, they no longer have that opportunity. Now, this does matter because without a shadow of a doubt, children's performance can vary significantly from one day to another for no obvious, no apparent reason. So if a child happens to have one bad day and they perform poorly on the day of this one combined exam, then they have blown their chances for the consortium schools and for Kendrick on one, because of one bad day. Whereas previously, if they had had one bad day, but the other day was a normal day or a good day, then they may fail or underperform in one exam, but perform to their standard on another. And that opportunity has now been taken away, which is a disadvantage for them.